Where the American South meets the Midwest on the mighty Ohio sits a classic city, setting a new standard for energy consumption in the U.S. The city of Cincinnati has pledged to go 100% renewable by 2035. And we've decided to go further than just make a promise. We want to put it into action. Cincinnati, Ohio will be operating the largest municipal solar array in the country by the end of this year. Mayor John Cranley is leading the way. But we are going to be able to reduce by 25 percent our carbon footprint by next year. We are going to literally save money because solar at 3 o'clock in the afternoon on a hot day when you're cranking your air conditioning is a lot cheaper than paying for coal. When coal is in high demand, the utility companies usually charge a premium. But with this plan, Cincinnati can supply its own energy at no extra cost. So we can't replace solar for all of our energy needs, but we can make a significant reduction in our carbon footprint by using it as part of an all of the above strategy. And roughly 60 miles to the east of Cincinnati, all these open roads and farms. And this is where the solar panels will be installed. 310,000 of them on 1,000 acres. That's the equivalent of 750 football fields. The solar array will be strong enough to power 25,000 homes a day. So how does this all work? The energy gets to Cincinnati through your traditional electricity grid. So essentially what we're doing is we're dumping those solar electrons onto the grid. We're using the existing utility structure to move that power. Cincinnati already uses solar. From parking spots, rooftops, parks, and government buildings, sustainable energy is thriving here. Solar power is no longer this crazy expensive prospect that only the wealthy can afford. And I think more and more people are recognizing that having a place that is passionate about going green, about having a positive impact on the climate, about protecting the natural resources that it has, um, is so valuable to everyone in the region. And the city hopes to inspire other urban areas to take action. And so even if you don't necessarily believe in the climate science, why don't you believe in saving yourself money? And that's an aha moment that most people haven't gotten to yet. In Cincinnati, Robert Ray, The Weather Channel.